Hey, Triple Fivers, Andrew here. Well, we have record-breaking cold here in Minnesota. It is the end of January, January 30th, and right now we are looking at a temperature of negative 24 degrees. And of course, that means it's time for some bro science, I guess. What I am going to do in this video is take some of my most cherished mechanical watches and put them outside for 12 hours and see how they hold up. I'm gonna throw a quartz watch in there just for the heck of it. The watches I'll be putting out there are as follows. First, we'll put out this uh, Tudor Ranger, a watch with a reputation of being a tough outdoor field watch. The other watch I will put out there is the Seiko Alpinist, a watch that was originally conceived as a mountaineering watch. I'll be bringing out the Timex Waterberry. This is the Red Wing Edition. This watch will go out there just as a standard issue Timex type of watch. And then yes, of course, because everyone I'm sure will be extra curious about this, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna also stick my Rolex out there. It's a Rolex Air King from the mid-90s, 1400 series Air King. So we'll get a nice variety of uh, mechanical and quartz watches out in the sub-zero weather. Okay, so here's the plan. It is already 24 below zero. It's gonna get a little bit warmer, about 15 below zero midday, and then it's gonna drop back down in the evening to sub 25 below zero. Very cold. This is all Fahrenheit too, by the way, obviously. So what we are going to do is put the watches outside for 12 hours. Uh, I'll check the watches on an hourly basis. If they quit running or if they are fogging up, then they are out of the competition. All of the mechanical watches Watches are fully wound, ready to go, and we will see how they hold up. All right, we're finally getting outside. I guess I'll be leaving these out here till closer to 11 in the evening. Incredibly icy cold here. I actually have a glass of water here. Let's just do a quick uh, test, uh, see if this turns into vapor. All right, folks, it is noon. Watch has been on here for about an hour. Now I have a glass of warm water. Let's see if it does anything different. Just about the same. Here are the watches. Let's see which ones are working. I really take my gloves off naturally. So far, they are all ticking away normally. Any predictions about which ones are going to die first? I personally think the quartz watches are going to go first. All right, we'll check back in another hour. If you're enjoying this video or you think the concept is kind of fun, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. Let's take a look here. All the watches seem to be functioning normally. All right, let's give them another hour. All right, two o'clock and it is currently 17 degrees below zero. They're all fully operational. We are bringing muffins to the old folks home. Got some shut-ins over there. Four. Four are working. All four? Three o'clock, warmest point of the day, negative 16, and yes. All right, it's 20 after four, currently 16 degrees below zero. All these watches are working well. Okay, it is currently 20 after five and cooling off outside. It's now 17 degrees below zero. Expecting some uh, rapid drops in temperature in the next few hours. Okay, it is now 625 and it is about 19 degrees. Quick look.
Okay, it's it's seven o'clock and it feels cold. It's twenty degrees below zero right now. They're all going strong. Okay, about eight twenty. 21 degrees below zero currently. Challenging to do this. All right. Hmm. Looks like the Rolex has stopped. Hmm. I'm surprised to see that. The Rolex has stopped. Hmm. Maybe that was just a power reserve issue. I'm going to wind it up and see if it keeps going. All right, with further consideration, I've decided not to try to wind the Rolex after it quit working. This watch was definitely fully wound when I brought it outside this morning, and I do not know why it quit working. So I am going to bring it inside and let it warm up. As you can see, it is very frosty right now very frosty that is not out of focus that is just frosty frosty I believe that's all on the outside of the crystal yeah it looks like it is open that off right now the case is freezing to hold though who would have thought the rolex is the first one out of the race here's the shot of that rolex again uh, as soon as I brought it inside, it started working again, so you can see it's still covered with frost. I'm not hurrying to warm it up. I don't know. Did the oils thicken, or was it simply a power reserve issue? We shall never know. All right, just about 9.05, and it is 22 degrees below zero. And the three remaining are going strong. All right, just about 10.09, and it is 23 degrees below zero. Notice that frost on the top. Yes, and they are also running strong. We are in the home stretch. All right, guys, it's about 11.10, and it is currently 24 degrees below zero. Feels more like sub 30 degrees below zero with the wind chill, and we are going to bring the watches in and see how they are running. Looks like the Seiko is running a little slow. Uh, we'll see if it's still running slow. And we'll see how frosty they are when they get in here. This is the frost on my window. Wow. All right, we're back inside. Here is the Tudor. You can see that it's quite frosty. Doesn't look like there's any condensation on the inside. We've got the Alpinist still ticking away. Running a few minutes slow. Again, very frosty. It was just freezing. And the uh, 
Timex, which apparently takes a licking and keeps on ticking. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little science experiment. Interesting to see what watches were able to keep running in this sub-zero weather for 12 hours and which ones ran keeping good time and which ones ran slow. Uh, looks like the overall winner to me is the Tudor Ranger. And then second place uh, or equal first place podium spot goes to the Timex, uh, which also did a great job. Uh, the Seiko was definitely running slow after I brought it inside. So please do leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little thing. And uh, let me know in the comments below if we have another cold spell what I could do to make this experiment better. Always appreciate uh, your thumbs up and your subscription if you're new here. Thanks a lot.